good morning students this is probably my first class with you all so um, before this we have uh, come up with uh, drawing competitions uh, from where i have got some ideas so let me tell you at first that uh, everyone has done a great job in these uh, competitions everyone has done immensely well hmm, i am very much impressed with your work everything is very fine uh, and overall view what i have got from this uh, competitions so after examining all these pictures and all these things from everyone those who have participated uh, in this drawing competitions so based on that what i felt actually um, uh, let's start with uh, study of human figures how to draw a human figure so this is the probably the first class uh, i am having with you all so let's uh, learn how to draw human figures with good proportions and uh, structurally perfectly uh, it will be all right so likewise so everyone i have seen many of you have drawn uh, human figures in your compositions and all these things mm, uh, you have used uh, compositions in your uh, competitions uh, many of you have drawn i am not telling that you all are uh, doing uh, not well but it's okay but uh, most of you all have uh, not aware of drawing a human figure perfectly so how to draw a perfect human figure so let's start from the beginning and it will be uh, a easy process uh, i will not uh, use the um, complicated process this is the easier process how to draw human figures uh, if if you can draw human figure then it will be Mm, easier for you to draw any type of compositions uh, compositions so it will help you in many ways uh, in sort of compositions uh, any type of subject if it is been given to you you can implement this subjects and human figure is the basic element of our um, environment as you can say without human figures or without humans nothing is uh, nothing you can do um, nothing you can create like this uh, means in a composition so nothing you can uh, try to implement your thought so human figure is necessary a part of drawing uh, of art you can say so today we will going to start with the human figure so this is the scratch uh, i have done uh, let me explain you how uh, this thing is going to be um, work this thing will going to work so this is the uh, first uh, first of all you need to know one thing that uh, human figure is a symmetrical figure Hmm. symmetrical figure means if we divide a human figures in two equal halves in longitudinal sections vertical sections this is the imaginary line i have drawn a straight line if we divide the human figures into two equal halves then both the part will be same equal both the part will be equal hmm. and this side will be one ear half of the lips will come this side one ear, eyes will be there one hands uh, half of the chest uh, one limbs and all these things means uh, same will be on the other side so this is called the symmetry symmetrical figure so first of all you have to draw a straight line like this as i have drawn a straight line this is how you have to draw a straight line and second of all regarding the proportions proportions of the human figure sometimes uh, i found that uh, you have drawn a good face but hands and limbs become shorter than the figure than the body sometimes the body become shorter than the hand and limbs so to maintain that proportions correctly so this is the basic structures which you need to learn at first hmm. if you maintain this uh, basic structures then every time say every human figures will be perfect in your proportions and uh, in structure so this is the basic structures these figures will come uh, to be uh, like uh, an attention position so of a human figures free standing attention positions it will become so let's start with this uh, basic structure of a human figure how to draw this some somewhat like a biological drawing but it will uh, be a great effect in your art so what is the proportions this is the head what we count basically seven and a half times the total size of the head 
is the total human figure structure means this is the one part this is the two part this is the third part this is the fourth part this is the fifth this is the sixth this is seven and this is seven and a half the seven and a half of one single human head is the total structure of a human figure so if you consider yourself your head size will be the seven and a half size of the total human figure means total uh, size of your body so that is the main structure now how it will going to happen let me explain first of all you will draw a straight line like this in between the straight line you will draw an egg shaped not a circle it will be an egg shaped okay this is the egg same size you will just mark like this as i have marked seven times i have marked these are seven times and the seven and a half times i have marked in each place so it will be like this one head two head three head four head five head like this uh, seven and a half heads so like this you will mark at first now this is the markings just below the head there will be two narrow lines this is the second part of the head means uh, second times of the one head this is the third times of the one head in between the third and the fourth you will you have to draw this line it will be equally half and just below that line you have to draw another line now this is the this is the fourth uh, part this is the fifth and this is the sixth between fifth and sixth just more than half and less than half from um, below if you count from below it will be less than half uh, if you count from above it will be more than half you have to draw another line again this is the sixth this is the seventh on the on the seventh you have to draw a big line and this is the seven and a half so these markings you have to make it correctly after making these markings what we will going to do let me show you this is the structure you have to make see it carefully what i have done so from this structure you can easily uh, this thing is you can easily imagine what i have trying to make this will be probably the shoulder line this will be the pelvic line this will be your knee line and this is the this structure is the feet structure of your feet now how to make the limbs how to make the limbs and how it is it will be uh, it uh, how what is what will be its size so that i am showing you now you can Im easily come out uh, means this thing you can easily uh, imagine what i have tried to make it uh, this thing you have to imagine what uh, like a cylinder hmm. this is a hollow cylinder you have to imagine this is one cylinder this is one cylinder and this is a, a just a shape of your palm so this type of cylinders you have to make and imagine here is the marking one i have marked and this marking will come to your elbow line and in the second positions it will come just below little bit below of this uh, what is coming one two three fourth 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 mark it will come just below the fourth mark of your wrist line and secondly this will be your um, hands now how to create a proper human figure out of this that i am showing you separately here hmm. same structures you have to draw again here that also i am drawing on the side now this structure you have to make it again you have to draw a second structures here that i am showing you so this is the second structure i have drawn mm, i have directly derived from this figure 
so that it becomes the same uh, structure so for your better understanding you will also do the same thing you will not do this uh, what i will going to do on this figures you will not do that thing on this figure you will draw this one separately and again you will uh, make this figure separately on the side uh, that i will that i will see when uh, we will going to submit the assignment now these markings i have not done but you will going to mark it properly by measuring these things how to measures that i am showing you you will take your pencil like this the this sharp pointed tip you will uh, place it at the top of the head here you will mark it with your finger now pick up your pencil so this much of the markings is coming off your head now you place it in the second part see this line i have done by default it is coming on the same line so here you will just press your finger here there will be a dead line and you will mark over that line again you will measure the second part you will place your finger you will mark with your finger like this again you will mark with your finger like this so number of times you will mark on your paper so there will be a dent portions uh, dent mark will be there on your paper so that will be the mark of the number of times you are counting the heads so likewise you will mark it okay so for better understanding i have uh, done this thing so now what you will going to do you will carve all these uh, rigid lines rigid corners is there this is the flat corners it is looking like a box so we will going to carve all these portions and then uh, i will show you how to how this will become a real human figure see after carving all the lines the total structure became like this so this is the structure of a male human figure remind one thing this is the structure of a male human figure female human figure i will going to show you in next step it means next class this is uh, this is one you are learning the male human figure how to do the structurally uh, correct and perfectly now we will going to put the drapery or the put the clothes on these dresses so how this dress will going to uh, work on this uh, means body sometimes i have seen that you have drawn the dresses but the hands uh, is coming out from somewhere else or it is looking like the hands became broken or the legs became broken the, uh, it is not at properly attaching inside the um, dresses so how the clothes create an interesting characters above human figures so imagine this is the figure so how clothes will work this will be the color of a dress if i if i consider a shirt or t-shirt this will be the color above this this will be the sleeves here it will be loosened here it will be tight from here it is hanging the dress basically hangs on our body so portions of which it will be free that portions will only come out this is a short you can see now this is the waist part here we consider a belt suppose this is a belt see now while there will be a shirt on a dress you cannot see this chest line properly so let it rub it little bit let rub the middle line also so there will be a middle line for the button part so you can make the button here here will be the pocket you can make a pocket like this it is becoming a shirt a narrow fit shirt we can loosen up on this part if we make it loosen then it will become a loose shirt hands will be as it is this is a half slip shirt i have shown you just to show you how the hands and uh, this uh, shirt slips create a mystery now if i rub this lines and this line then also it will look like that the hand is inside the sleeves that is the main thing 
if i rub these portions and these lines and these lines and all these lines then also it will looks like that the hand is inside the sleeves not it is uh, as if coming from somewhere else or it is attached uh, anyhow it will not look like that okay now if we come for the pant what will going to happen here will be this zip pant almost be like this if you think about the jeans it will be look like this above this leg part so it will look like this only only a pocket will be there so it will look like this and the legs so this is how dress or the apparel comes above our human body so it is not anyhow you will draw a shirt and it will looks like shirt now this is the head this is the head means this is only the head above this head you have to draw the hair you draw the hair you draw the ear here on both the both sides now regarding the face there are also a lot of uh, calculations and lot of uh, structures so you don't have to think like that only this thing you keep uh, in your mind that in between the upper part and the lower part of your ears the upper part will act as an eyebrow and the lower part will be the act as a nose this is the nose line this is the eyebrow line in between the eyes and the nose there lies the ears ears doesn't lies anywhere in the face okay someone draws hair someone draws hair someone draws hair anywhere you just attach a ear that doesn't means that a ear will be there on that ear has got some specific place that specific place is it place between eyes and the nose so this is the eye line this is the nose line and in just below the nose line you can draw a straight line this will be the face this will be the face so this is the task you have to do this is very simple structure of a human figure how to draw a human figure now i have drawn this thing same way you have to draw this thing after drawing this thing i want to see now this this is the figure 1 this is figure 2 and there will be another figure that will be figure 3 the same thing you will draw but this dress part you will draw it here dress part dress part you will draw it here and after drawing the dress part you will rub all these lines all these inside lines all these outside lines all these lines you will draw you will rub and it will uh, bring out the perfect figure okay a perfect figure will be here here what you will do here you will just carve the lines here you will just carve the lines this thing you will do it here and the dress part you will do it here there will be third figure so these three things you have to do topic is how to draw a human figure okay so this is the task submission is on 16th or not 16th actually that i will mention you um, in your class group when you have to submit you will submit me you will take the photographs of this thing and you will send me separately in my whatsapp number okay in jpeg format don't forget this thing you will send it to me in jpeg format it is easier to check out in jpeg format than in uh, this uh, pdf format you will send these pictures in jpeg format to me and 
the last date I will uh, mention you in your what uh, class group so I hope everyone has understood what I am trying to say and what you have to make it then also I am saying I will mention my phone number in your uh, class groups if you are having any problem you can contact to me you can ask me what, whenever you will feel difficulty on drawing all these things so this is the uh, elbow lines as I have mentioned here so don't you know, don't ask me this thing that where I will end up with this uh, elbow so elbow will be the third portions I am marking it here this will be the one this will be two this will be three this will be four this will be five this will be six this will be seven and this will be seven and half so this is the thing okay students go for it best of luck thank you